guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do an update for my subscription box Blitz collab. And this is my ninth update, I believe. If I seem a little confused and stuff like that and clumsy, it's because I have been sick. <laughs> so I am confused. I have finished uh, a product, I believe, and then I am decluttering one product. This is my Sartgefühl Detox Face Cleansing Bar. I hate this product. If you have followed along this product, I have talked about this stung my eyes so badly that I got an eye infection over here on my eyelid. Not that bad, but it was there. It was very, very dry and itchy and it was swollen. Um, but that was only because I rinsed it off with water and my hands. When I washed it off with a uh, cleansing cloth, a towel basically, I didn't get that infection and it was very, very nice. But in the last month or so, I didn't want to cleanse my face because I needed to use this. So that is a sign for me that I'm not going to hold on, on to this anymore. I have been very happy not to be using it, but my new cleanser, or the cleanser I had, um, it's not old or anything, but I think it's breaking me out. So that's cool. <laughs> that's so awesome. Um, but I'm going to power through that. It's not that bad, but it is so much nicer than this. And I'm so happy this is going in the trash now. I'm just going to be realistic in this update. I'm not going to use this. I haven't used it a whole month because I just don't want to. This looks horrific on my nails. It looks okay on my toes, but I don't like it. It's not goofy or anything. It's not very nice to use. It's streaky and if you put it on, it kind of cracks, but not really. Um, I think I have a picture of it, but if I can show it to you, I will. It's not very nice. Uh, I have used about half of it and I'm so happy about that, but I'm just not going to use it anymore. I don't want to have white toenails in the winter time. I'm a dark nail polish girl on my toes. I only like black or very dark navy colors like this on my toes, so I'm not going to use this anymore. My only empty this month is my MSM Rhubarb Body Chouffle and I'm so happy about this because I'm terrible about going through body lotion so I'm so happy about this but I'm so sad at the same time because this was amazing, this was so good and it lasted a very long time because I don't go through body lotion that fast I use it every single time I have been in the shower and mostly at night time because I'm in a hurry in the morning so I don't have time to let my body dry basically. Can you say that? I don't know. I really really like this and I will consider repurchase this. Yeah, I will. It's so good. But I don't know if it is expensive. I'm very very cheap so. Yeah, it's so good. I can't stop smiling. I have used this once and that was yesterday because I thought I was okay to film, um, but I wasn't. So I put this on before. It's only once, no progress at all. I'm going to use this soon. I'm not sure if I can go through that much in the next few months because it's almost 2018 now. Okay, I can't mark this, but I have used this so much. Every single night I use this, even though I'm not going to use makeup the next day or not even if I have worn makeup that day, I'm going to use this because I really want it gone. And it takes forever. The, the labels are peeling off because it, it's a face oil. Oh, this is the Olas Beauty Fluid Day moisturizer for your face and um, this is the gush overnight primer oil essence i use it every single day but it's not that much in it i'm pretty sure i'm in the bottom right now i'm not sure how much but i'm using it maybe it was last month i used it once with this um nordic tan soft tan applicator mid um i'm not a fan of a soft tan because i i'm too lazy i'm too lazy and i'm just pale anyway but 
it. I really want to go on, so I, I will try. Can't uh, promise anything. Then I have my Oblikia Siberica Professional Hand Cream. I love this stuff a lot. So I have used this much since last time. My hands are finally at that stage where I can use hand cream because it's so dry here in Denmark and it's so cold. Very cold, like 4 degrees Celsius. <laughs> So cold in the morning. So I use this in school a lot. Um, I'm pretty sure I can finish it. And for my eye cream, my Balance Me Tinted Wonder Eye Cream, I am down to here. I've used this much in the past month. I'm so happy because I really thought this was going so slow. But then I marked it and I was like, oh my god. I've had this in for a long time and for a long time there was an air bubble. So that's why there was no progress. But I'm pretty sure I have the air bubble out now and I'm done to here. So I hope I can finish this by the finale. Um can't see through this shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. I have so much progress on this Kermit Dew Wild Body Oil that I didn't really even realize I didn't mark it. All the way down to here so I'm actually very excited and I'm pretty sure I can finish this by the finale as well um I didn't think I could but I can my boyfriend have given me some massages and I have given given him some massages so that's why there's a lot of progress so if we do that again this month I can have it finished by next update that's so exciting okay um yeah <laughs> And that's my amazing progress for my Kermaju Wild Body Oil Energized Therapeutic Lemongrass Orange Eucalyptus. Well. Then for the makeup part, and I have a few polishes. I only have this bit amount of progress, but spoiler, I have finished my Gosh Nail Polish um, for my Body Beauties pretty band. So now I'm going to focus on this one. The thing is. You only need one coat of this, and then you get so much pigment. And it's it's amazing. Don't get me wrong, but when you pan a nail polish that is that pigmented, can you say that for nail polish? Then it's very very slow going. Um, so that's kind of why, because normally I use two coats for a nail polish. It is my Catrice Cosmetics. Also made nail lacquer in 108, the very very best. Yes, I love this color. And for my... It's not that ugly, but my Nails Ink Nail Kale Nail Polish in Wichemon Park Gardens. I am. I have used it a few times, I think, or maybe it was last update, I can't remember. But I am down to here, so yeah. Not that much. Now that the other one is gone, I'm pretty sure I can work on these and get some amazing progress. I'm going to be better at this nail wheel stuff. So of course this color is my Catrice one. The blue one here is this Nails Ink one. The white one you can't really see, but that's that one. I don't know, did I have this last update? I don't think so. Um, I have hit pan on my bronzer. Um, you would have known my full excitement when I hit pan in my rolling pan update for October, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I hit pan on it um, after the last update, so yeah, I have pan on my bronzer now. This is going awfully slowly. <laughs> this will take me a lifetime to get through, honestly. I'm not sure what I'm going to do because I don't use it that much anymore because I'm just like, I don't want to. I need a break. <laughs> so I don't know if I'm ever going to pan this because... Half a year. And I only had pan on this because I used it in my eyebrows. So, that's that. Then I have my Tease Cosmetics, Cheesy 20 Cosmetics face powder. I'm going to repress this for the next update because every time I use it, something crumbles off, breaks off. 
is so thin up here that I can't control it anymore. So I'm going to repress this and hopefully it's not that hard packed so I can finish it by the end of the year. I have made amazing progress since you saw it last time. I will insert um, a picture too uh, so you can see how much after I hit pan how it crumbled and stuff like that. So that's kind of what is happening every time I'm kind of using it. Then I have uh, my highlighter and bronzer in my C palette. I'm not going to show you my C palette, it's so dirty. It's so awful. I have used the highlighter a ton. Um, and you can't see it. I have a dip. Um, the bronzer you can see I have used. I'm using this every single day, only on my nose and cupid bow though. Because I'm panning a, a few highlights for my cheekbones. And for my inner corner I am using an eyeshadow. So... Hopefully I can hit pan on this by the next update because that's really my goal in my rolling pan as well. Then I have my Gosh Intense Lip Color. Yeah, it's a lip gloss. It's very pigmented. Very long wearing actually. So I'm down to here right now. I've used this not a ton, but I have used it so I can make a new mark, and I'm very excited about that. I'm not sure if I can finish this either because it's purple. Very, very purple. Look, purple. One swipe. That is pigmented as F for a lip gloss. It's very, very cool, and I love the color, but guys, beautiful. Don't get me wrong, I really, really like it, but it's so pigmented that I'm just not sure if I can finish it. The last item I have is my Mimi Me Lip Glide Velvet Finish Lip Color in Playful Peach. It's like a lip crayon that you have to sharpen, which is so annoying. But I have used it a bit this month. I'm very excited about that. I didn't think I have used it that much much this last month, but I have. I have used it on top of a lip liner, so it's getting it gets more nude. It's very very creamy and very very beautiful, don't get me wrong, but it's so bright on the lips that I really have to tone it down for every day. I think I have rubbed it in school. I have rubbed this lip gloss as well. I don't know what why it's much. I'm going to add in more products. Yay! But they are samples. <laughs> I'm just going to read them up for you guys and then it will be that. It is four samples and then a deluxe size. This is the Ziba Mid Mattifying Cream uh, Face Cream. I thought I could try to use this in the morning because it's mattifying and I'm very oily skin. This is the Bruno Banani Not For Everybody Dangerous Woman Eau de Toilette. I have no idea why it is in a foil but I thought it would be very cool to use, so I will try to use this. Not sure how I will do that. I have the Dior Dior Enjoy. I'm not sure, I don't speak French. I have the Lancome Paris, the Smoothening and Glow Boosting Liquid Care. Is this a serum? It is this big green thing here. <laughs> is that is this a serum? Because I've heard it is. I'm not, I'm not into skincare, guys. Then I have my Maybelline The New Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser Primer. I have a L'Oreal True Match 2C Rose Vanilla Foundation Sample. Lancome Teint Adore Ultra 24 Hours Wear and Comfort Foundation Sample. In 03 Beige Diaphne. Diaphne. Oh my god, I can't speak French, guys. I think this is a bit too dark for me, so that is kind of the reason I chose them because, you know, I'm panning the soft tanner. I have a few body lotions here because I finished mine and I'm not panning one right now. I have two of the rituals, the ritual of Sakura Magic Touch Body Cream. I love these so much, so I will of course buy the full size when I don't have that much body lotion. And then the last one I have is my Sephora Super Supreme Body Butter. Sheer Butter. This one right here. That is everything for this update. I hope you enjoyed. I'm so sorry if I went through it very slowly, but 
but I'm still not feeling myself completely. I really wanted to film these today because I'm going to need the weekend off filming. Maybe I can't because I have an autumn break, kind of, you know. I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe to my channel down below. Click the bell so you will get notified when I upload and do updates and stuff like that. Because you will, because I have so much planned out. Subscribe to my social media as well here. I'm way more active on there than here, just so you know. Then I hope you will take care until my next video.